this is how you know me. It's actually my legal name. Uh, but to be honest, I never used it before I came to Canada. Because uh, my friends and my family call me Birtia. And you would be like, what? What is Birtia? Yes, this is my uh, name I used all my life. But when I came to Canada, I decided to stick with my legal one because like 90% of my Canadian friends could not pronounce my name correctly. Forgive me my strong Ukrainian pronunciation. So I'm Vera now. So I actually grew up in a family of musicians. Well, both of my parents were students of Music Academy when I was born. So basically, first six years of my life, I live in a student dormitory, <laughs> which was amazing. Uh, it was a dormitory of uh, Music Academy. So just just imagine the picture. You walk into the hallway, and from one uh, from one corner you hear someone playing piano, in other corner someone singing an opera song. Oh my goodness, it was like party that never ends, but I'm so grateful to my parents for this uh, awesome childhood because I definitely was like, well, I thought that I'm just one of those cool musical kids. Maybe, maybe that's why I grew up, I turned out to be so musical. So, fact number three. Uh, I am a good singer or that's what my parents told me actually. I was singing ever since I was a little girl. I remember when I was in junior school, me and my classmate Artem, we were uh, on the stage for the very first time with our super popular song that's called Rock and Roll for Frogs. Oh my goodness, we just rocked our junior school. And then I joined the choir and back in university I even played in a couple rock bands. So I am a singer, I think. eat meat for like five years now uh, although I have some seafood time to time I think this called not vegetarian but pescatarian please don't confuse it with presbyterian like I do sometimes because presbyterian is a religion I actually speak four languages Ukrainian English Russian and German Uh, I actually moved to Canada only two years ago and I fell in love with Toronto right away. I mean, what's not to like about this city? It's very lively, it's very diverse, it's, I'd say it's like Canadian New York. And Beaver Tail Pastry, oh, don't even let me go there because it's so tasty, it's almost scary. Uh, but actually, the only thing I did not enjoy about Toronto though, it's the weather, it's the climate. Don't get me wrong, I am Ukrainian girl. I used to snow in winters, I used to cold, but in Toronto it's just insane. It's like five months a year, air hurts your face every time you go outside. No, 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 no. I, I absolutely love making wishes. I make them all the time. Every time the star falls from the sky, I make a wish. Every time I'm in between the people with the same names, I make sure to take their hands and make my wish. Every time my train goes through the tunnel, guess what? I'm making the wish. And my favorite part is that my wishes always, always, always come true. I am a scout. Which means when it comes to surviving, I'm like a bear grills. <laughs> I'm just eating probably more like a teddy bear, but nevertheless. Uh, when I was 16, uh, as a part of my scout challenge, I lived for three days in a row in a forest and I had no tent, um, no fancy camp gear. I always had no food. Everything I was provided with was like just uh, for three matches, knife, a sleeping bag and I survive. As you can see, I can take care of myself in a city and in the forest as well. So, fact number nine. I actually in my life did all kind of jobs. I worked 
as a sandwich part. It's funny how it's called. Uh, I worked as a nanny, as a teacher, as an event coordinator, uh, as a journalist, as an editor. I even worked as HR in one of the biggest Canadian uh, companies, one of the most prestigious companies. And now I'm starting my new career here in Kelowna from the scratch. To be honest, I even don't know what it's gonna be. But looking back, I must say I was quite successful in everything I was doing. So that's why now I'm looking to my new career openings. I'm just, I'm open to the world. Let's see what it's gonna bring us. Uh, I love sports. Well, all kinds of sports, but so far my biggest achievement is completion of half marathon. Half marathon, like for me back then, like two years ago or a year and a half ago, it was huge. I wouldn't think I could do it. I wouldn't think I would survive half marathon. By the way, half marathon, for, for those of you who don't know, it's 21 kilometers or 13 miles. So for me back then, it was huge. But now I know that if I could do it, with almost no preparation, well, with a little preparation, anyone could do it. My grandma could do it. You can do it. So yeah, it's my biggest achievement so far. Uh... I am the traveler. I love to travel and according to the fancy app I have on my phone, I already visited like a 9% of the planet and apparently my goal is 100%. And you know what? I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna see 100% of the world. So keep watching it and you'll see it with me. Like, subscribe and share this video with your friends.